welcome to my first tutorial we are going to do this this kind of character introduction uh, there comes a logo and some flame and smoke as you like very good so let's jump right into the middle of it let's make a new composition let's name it tutorial And make it full HD and let's make the duration about 10 seconds okay so drag our clip into the composition let's search for a frame that we like and that we like to stop and we like to work with let's stop the time with uh, right click time enable time remapping make a keyframe and then delete the end keyframe let's drag it uh, our clip till the end of the composition and it will stop the time uh, in that frame so now we are done with this so let's uh, duplicate it with ctrl D uh, okay the second one will be our background and the first one will be our character okay so now go to our start position which is four seconds six and now let's make with the pen tool a mask around her uh, if you uh, hold left and drag in it uh, will bend our uh, mask okay so let's just uh, go around her very fast okay that seems nice if you hide the background you see this uh, if if you are going if you want to go into details you can do another mask around her uh, like around her hair bring up the the masks with the m key and make the second mask to subtract and if you hide the background you see uh it is subtracted from her hair the background so now let's make an outline for her for this let's make a new solid let's make this uh, white uh, let's name it character background outline and let's put it below the character and with the pen tool let's uh, draw another mask around her just really quickly okay and if you turn in the background you see that we have our outline around her so let's give a background uh, I choose uh, ground 11 from riot gear and uh, let's make a mask uh, choose ellipse uh, the ellipse tool and double click on it and it will make a perfect ellipse in your uh, background let's feather the mask out uh, let's make it like 75 pixels and let's adjust the masks who are liking so the edges are a little feathered out we are going to make the reveal of the background for this i use the reveal from the riot gear okay let's position it and uh, scale it up for uh, as big as the composition is and then hide it and let's make the gr grunge track remote to Lumomat and it will uh, reveal our background in a cool way so the next thing next thing we are going to do is let's add some text uh, let's type name uh, scale it up a little let's say 170 
and let's make background for the name layer and for this make new solid make it black and put it below the name so and then with the pen tool let's uh, cut it out so for this layer give an effect generate ramp if you move around those dots you can uh, play around with the ramp effect I put the black close uh, to the background so only the edges will be uh, dark grayish let's rename it to name background so let's uh, make another uh, text layer just let's say text and uh, it's uh, text okay and then with the rotate tool and uh, the selection tool let's line it up if you are using rota uh, another tool and you hold down control uh, it brings you back to the selection tool as long as you're holding down the control let's make the that's the flame or uh, smoke as you like for this i use the flow 04 from the riot gear uh, let's put it below the character outline let's scale it up to comp size and let's put it on the right side uh, we don't want those edges to remove so let's uh, make a mask around it very good as you see it uh, disappears makes disappear that, that edge and let's name it flame slash smoke and uh, let's change the mode to screen so it will uh, may go away all the black so to give it a color go to effect uh, color correction color correction and curves and let's uh, make it red the green little down and the blue down as well if you turn off the grunge you will see with the green together it looks a little orangish okay so let's make the the logo reveal down in uh, in the bottom for this i use my logo uh, in the top uh, okay let's position it let's remove uh, the little r with a uh, quick mask good and then uh let's scale it down a little and then put the paint 01 from the right gear below the logo let's hide the logo let's name uh, our paint uh, layer to logo reveal and let's name the logo to logo and then let's change the mode to screen let's position our uh, layer where our logo is let's relate it a little okay this seems good and uh, let's change the track let's change the track mat to luma inverted mat and it reveals our logo but we have to scale it up a little so it reveals uh, the whole logo not only a part of it okay seems nice and now we can see it will uh, reveal our logo okay so we are uh, fully built out our image so we are going to uh, uh, position everything in 3d space because it looks a lot better when uh, your camera moves around uh, it gives some perspective to all your work 
if they are positioned in Z space. Uh, so let's change our view to two views and one of it, let's change it to top. For this, we have to uh, make all of our layers to 3D. Control A, uh, select all of them and then uh, change them to 3D. So uh, our camera will change to top. It is practical if you have two uh, camera views because then if you change something in the top, uh, in the Z space, you can see uh, in real time in the active camera what you are doing. So let's uh, play around with the Z uh, uh, Let's move the background a little back. Let's line it up. Okay. So let's move around everything in the Z space. Uh, with the character, it's a little tricky because if you move it in Z space, uh, it will uh, the image would jump. So to avoid this, let's uh, make a keyframe for the position where the, the whole animation starts. Then move uh, forward a couple of frames and then uh, move it in the Z space. And with this trick, we will avoid it to jump in time, uh, jump the, the image to jump when the whole animation starts. And let's do the same uh, with uh, the character background. Uh, I move uh, to the front, the smoke as well, but do move it to the front because uh, you have to be aware to keep the, the layer order as you build it up your image so okay let's move it a little more further so let's make a keyframe for the rotation as well because we want it to rotate and but we don't want it to like jumply rotate when the animation starts so we have to do this with keyframes as well as the position Let's rotate everything around as we like. It really depends on our taste. This looks fine. So we positioned everything. So let's start uh, with uh, reveals. Uh, first, we want to reveal our background. And for this, let's make a keyframe and uh, let's bring the Uh, for time remapping and it's uh, let's uh, speed it up a little so it uh, happens in a couple of frames the next thing we want to uh, reveal is the character for uh, the character outline for this we are using the radial wipe effect just type the radial wipe and then drop it on the character outline if you play around with the transition completion uh, you will see uh, how it works let's make a keyframe for it where where it should uh, start this keyframe uh, is the end so and if you bring it so let's change them Let's put this second one there. Let's line the keyframes up. And then you can see. And uh, the start angle, you can play around where you want your uh, animation to start.